What's up, Weld2 family? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Luke Lewis. I'm a welder from Brownsville, Texas. Today, we're going to be welding up some 2-inch Schedule 10 duplex. All right, let's talk a little bit about the fit-up we're going to be running today. It's going to be a little different than what some people might be used to. We're going to run a 3.30-second gap. Um, it might be something you might see in like an aerospace shop for aerospace applications. You know, they want a small gap and a small cap. They want a real small heat affected zone. But you know, with this, this Schedule 10 2 inch, it actually works pretty well. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here, tape up the backside. So for this pipe, we're gonna do penetrated tacks. We're gonna do three penetrated tacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and need to purge it. So that's why we're going ahead and put the tape on. You know, there are lots of options when it comes to purge tape. You know, the most common one you might see is just this masking tape. But you know, if you're on a job where they provide good quality like 3M purge tape, it makes a really big difference. It's a real strong tape. It's really heat resistant and you can leave it on there the whole time and the glue won't burn up. You know, your, your seal on your, on your purge is real important because if it's not an airtight seal, it might actually create like a little effect where it's gonna suck oxygen in as it's pushing the argon out, so you're never gonna get a really good purge. So make sure you really seal up the end where you have your purge line. All right, I'm gonna lay down a little strip of tape on the bottom, just so when we start tacking, we know we'll have a good purge. I'm gonna come in with our 330 second wire, just butt it up, slowly set it down. All right, we got a little loose 330 second, which is fine. Come up with the tape, fold it over on the very end. That way it just makes it easier to peel off. It doesn't stick to each other. You're gonna go ahead and you can just rest your wire right on top of the tape. And we're gonna put that first tack right on the top. You come over, make sure we have our purge on. And give it a little while should be able to feel it. We're gonna let this purge for a little bit, maybe like 20, 30 seconds, and we should be good. All right, so today, for welding this out, we're gonna be using the Miller Dynasty 280. I've got it at 120 amps, but I'm also running a foot pedal. Again, it's something you would see kind of in a shop setting. Using a 330 second tungsten and a number 12 cup. The number 12 cup will just give us more gas coverage, you know, as we're throwing the root and as we're doing our fills and caps. You know, duplex is a, it's a lot like stainless. It is a stainless, it's just a different mixture. Um, so you know the more shielding gas the better. Um, we're going to go ahead, it's been purging for a little bit, we're going to throw our first tack. So since I'm putting three tacks, I'm going to space them out evenly. So I just tacked in the 12 o'clock and I went ahead and rotated it to about the 4 o'clock position. I'm going to tack on top again, I'm going to rotate it again to where the tacks are spread out like a triangle. And starting on this side, add some filler, jump to the next side, add some filler bridge it across, add a little more amps with the foot pedal, and I'm going to start dabbing in. Just going to keyhole and just dab right on top. Ease out of that arc. Leave the shielding gas on the puddle. There we go. All right, so I want to show you all how I position this pipe in relation to where the tacks are. So I know I'm stronger on my right hand. So this bottom tack, you know, there's three tacks spaced out evenly. I rotated it a little further to the right. So that way when I come in with my right hand, I know I have more confidence with my right. I can go ahead and reach over further. And then when I come across to use my left hand, I have a much shorter distance. I have to use my left hand. And all that's that's all that really does. It just closes the distance. You have to use your less dominant hand. All right, so the pipe is pretty much ready to go. All that's left to do is let it purge for about a minute, maybe two. In the meantime, go check out weldlife.com where you can get your weld tube hoods, the flip front adapter, and the new clear view HD lens. So before I get started, I know I'm gonna be working my way up and tying into this side tack. I'm gonna grind out a little bevel for it so I get a good tie in. All right, so you know, since we just ground, we're gonna have to retape it. Let it purge all that oxygen that we just introduced into the pipe. It's got to purge it back out. So wait about a minute and it'll be good to go. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to peel the tape back a little bit. We're going to start off on this bottom tack. I'm going to warm it up. So I'm going to strike up on this tack and use a foot pedal. 
I'm going to ease into it. I'm going to warm it up. I'm using that foot pedal. Start it off with low amperage. Press down on the pedal. Get the pedal to the right size. And take off. I'm coming up, burning both walls, dipping into the back side of the puddle, making sure I'm on the back side of the bevels. And I'm feeding that wire into the into the puddle. Coming into the tie, I'm gonna start feeding from the top now. Get it hot. Slowly dab in, there it is. Add filler, add filler. Slowly ease off that puddle. Leave the shielding gas on the puddle while it's still hot. All right, so we got it tied into the side tack and this is where it's gonna help me out, you know, where we reposition that tack, not dead center, but I rotate it a little further over so when I jump over and use my left hand, I have a real short distance I need to travel. You know, I feel better welding with my right, so I was fine reaching out a little further this way to bring it in, and now that I'm gonna use my left, I just have a real short movement. I'm gonna be tied in and we'll be good to go. All right, again, using the foot pedal, just gonna slowly start off a little bit behind the tack. I'm gonna warm it up. And when I see it's nice and molten, I'm gonna come in with my filler, start dabbing it in. All right, we got this side all tied in. Now we're gonna jump back over to this side, bring it over, and tie in. Starting off cool, adding more heat with the pedal till it's all melted. You're gonna come in, start feeding. making sure that that filler wire stays behind the bevel. I'm gonna dip and I'm feeding at the same time. Coming into the tie-in, gonna heat it up, and go a little slower. Once it closes up, I'm gonna add metal, add metal, and then come out of it slowly. All right, now that the root's done, we're gonna let it cool down until it's about cool to the touch. You know, it's scheduled 10, so it's very easy to pull it, and we don't want that to happen. So the rest of the way for the fills and the caps, we're gonna be quartering the pipe out. But for now, we're just gonna let it cool down before we do our next pass. All right, so we've let our root pass cool down. It's cool to the touch. Um, from now on, we're gonna be quartering it out. You know, since it's scheduled 10, that root pass really filled it up a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and go right into the cap. I'm gonna start here at six o'clock, go up to nine, and then jump over here and go to three o'clock to 12 o'clock and then back down three o'clock to six o'clock, and then come around nine o'clock to 12 o'clock. We're gonna ease into it. We're gonna watch that puddle grow. We're gonna dab into it. Dab, fill. And you're gonna see that puddle, it's gonna kind of wet into the sides after you pull that filler out. So we're gonna dab and fill, and then after you pull that filler out, that puddle's gonna wet in to the sides. It's gonna sit down and look real nice. Make sure you leave that gas coverage on the puddle because it's still really hot. And you want that gas coverage on a hot puddle. I'm gonna jump over to the other side. All right, so I'm gonna come across to the other side. Now I'm gonna work my way over from three to 12 o'clock. Um, and make sure, you know, especially when you're doing stainless, duplex, any kind of steel like that. When you have your filler, don't go back in with a, with a dirty end. You wanna clip it off, start with a fresh, fresh tip. Then I get that puddle started. Press down on the pedal slowly. Watch that puddle form. Dip into it. 
And once we have that puddle formed, we start moving. And dip and fill. And you can watch that puddle grow as you're filling in the metal. Make sure it's catching both sides of the wall. As you're ending that puddle, if you have a big puddle, dip into it so it doesn't create a fish eye. Alright, so again, we're going to get started, put pedal down, slowly ease into it, and watch, watch the puddle that you're heating up, or I should say the puddle behind it. You want this new puddle to grow and eventually match the size of the puddle directly behind it, and then start dipping. You know, when you're on top, Feed a little more metal into the puddle because you know when you're on the bottom gravity is going to pull pull that bead down and it's going to make kind of like a, a fat bead but when you're on top gravity is doing the same thing it's pulling it down so that bead's going to kind of wash out we'll get that puddle going slowly ease into it And then when you're coming up to the sides, you know, gravity's wanting to pull that puddle down. That may make it like a narrow kind of droopy puddle. Put a little more amps into the puddle using your the foot pedal. Widen that puddle out and you don't need to add as much filler. Um, and gravity will do the rest. It'll still make that, that puddle stand up. Then when you're coming around to the top of the pipe, you know, um, you add a little more filler because gravity's trying to pull it back down. So you can let up on the amps a little bit, add a little bit more filler and that way your bead comes out pretty uniform from the bottom of the pipe to the top. All right guys, there you have it. Two inch schedule 10 duplex, root and cap. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out weldlife.com. Go check out the new weld tube Clearview HD lens. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.